It is a rainy and cold morning in Texas. This weather makes me crave some of my favorite warm soup. Since it is going to be a cold and rainy weekend, I am headed to the store to find some fresh ingredients to have soup ready for the weekend. And as soon as I enter the store, I see exactly what I need. A butternut squash ready to become a delicious warm soup to accompany my signature bread bowls. So, here is my easy recipe. Start making the bread balls by combining in a bowl 650 grams or 2 and 3 quarter cups of water at room temperature with 200 grams or 1 and a third cups of whole wheat flour. Mix well with a dough whisk until the whole wheat flour is dissolved in the water. Then add 800 grams or 6 and 3 8 cups of bread flour little by little, as you keep mixing the flour in the dough. Use your hands to make sure to incorporate all the flour in the dough. Cover with a towel and let the dough rest for 30 minutes. In the meantime, start the soup for your bowls. Wash the butternut squash thoroughly and cut it in half with a sharp knife. Remove the seeds and save them to toast them and eat them later. Place the butternut squash pieces in a baking tray and sprinkle some vegetable oil on top of them. Add sea salt and place them in a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius for an hour or until they are tender. After 30 minutes, your dough should be ready to add 200 grams or 3 quarter cups of sourdough starter. And 20 grams or one tablespoon of sea salt. Knead the dough in your bowl to combine the sourdough starter and the salt. Make sure to distribute the ingredients in the dough. To do this, I recommend you to knead on your working table for a couple minutes until the ingredients are well incorporated. You don't have to need long, just a couple of minutes will suffice. Cover the dough with a towel and let it rest for 30 minutes. Start a series of stretches and folds every 30 minutes. Stretch the dough well and fold it to form a ball again. Cover the dough with a towel and let the dough rest for another 30 minutes. Repeat this same process two more times to help the gluten develop and cover with a towel in between the stretch and folds. At the end of this process, cover the dough with a towel and let the dough rest on the counter for about two hours. After two hours, I'm gonna place my dough in the fridge overnight. If you don't want to wait that long, you can let the dough rest two more hours and bake it, but I prefer to give my bread a cold and slow fermentation to give my bread a deeper and better flavor. Once my bread is in the fridge, I will go ahead and finish my soup. When your butternut squash is cool, take it out of the oven. You can also steam or boil the butternut squash, but I love the enhanced flavor that a roasted butternut squash brings to this soup. Get a spoon 
and scoop all the tender butternut squash meat into a food processor or a blender. Add one cup of water and start blending until you get a soft puree. Then, in a hot stock pot at medium heat, add two tablespoons of butter and let it melt. Add the butternut squash. Add 700 grams or three cups of vegetable stock. Then, add three cups of milk. If you prefer to omit adding milk, you can add three more cups of vegetable stock. At this point, stir the soup until it boils. If you don't do this, the soup might stick to the bottom of the pot and burn, so keep stirring. You can also add two tablespoons of cornstarch dissolved in half a cup of cold water to thicken the soup. When the soup is boiling, reduce the heat to simmer and season to taste with salt and pepper. Let simmer for at least 20 more minutes. The next day, get the dough out of the fridge and divide it in four equal pieces. Shape your dough carefully by pulling the dough to stretch it one last time while forming a bowl. Use the table to add tension to the dough. I am placing the dough balls on parchment paper to bake them on my pizza steel. You can use a pizza stone if you don't have a pizza steel. Or you can bake these balls in a prepared baking sheet. For now, I'm gonna cover my dough with a towel and I will preheat the oven at 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 230 degrees Celsius. After 30 minutes, Score your dough. I am making a simple score pattern on top. I am using a pizza peel to transfer the dough to the oven. But before that, I am pouring boiling water in a hot cast iron skillet that I have in the base of my oven to create enough steam for my breads as they bake in the oven. Then I place the bread in the oven and I spray the breads with some cold water to create extra steam. After 30 minutes, the bread balls should be ready, so take them out of the oven and let them rest on a cooling rack for a couple hours. Then use a knife to remove the top of the bread. And use your hands to scoop out the center of the bread. Make sure to save the center of the bread to dunk it in your soup. This bread is made with a lower hydration to have a tighter crumb and a thick crust so it can hold any hot soup well. Fill the bread bowls with enough soup and decorate with toasted pumpkin seeds. This here to me is the perfect soup for any cold, rainy day. I really hope you can try this recipe. This is a very easy recipe to make. Please like this video 
And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I have a new recipe every week. Thank you for watching.